So, we have a sequel to Megamind. Hey, I'm the Color Man Movies, and today I'm going to review Megamind vs. The Doom Syndicate. Let's go. Before I completely bash this movie, let's go on to everything I liked about it. On paper, the story could work, but the movie didn't really execute it well, but just on paper, if they executed it better, the story could have worked. And it's also just fun having a sequel to Megamind, because we waited all, the, all these years to finally see this character back again, and... Finally seeing this character back again, at least pleases some people that we see the character again in some way. But with all that being said, let's bash this movie with everything I didn't like about it. So if you guys didn't know, this movie was only made to make a TV show. Because along with this movie came the release of the show Megamind Rules. This movie is basically a pilot episode for that show. That's all it's really made for, is just to sponsor that show to tell people that show is coming out. If you watch the movie, it feels like that. It feels like they're, like, sponsoring their show for the movie. That's the only reason why this movie is out, just to sponsor that show. It's like they knew people weren't going to watch the show unless if they made a movie on it, so they made a movie. This movie is cut to the chase. This movie is... Not good. Awful. Really. So, the voice acting in here? Terrible. Terrible voice acting. Sounds nothing like the original character. Because Will Ferrell's not back. And this, all this acting's terrible. The voice acting sounds fake at times. Doesn't even match. Like, when uh, Megamind breaks the fourth wall, does not work. Sounds awful. There's... There's like no comparison into the voice at all. It sounds like directly on the nose, which is another thing leads me into the dialogue. The dialogue of this movie, the way it was written, I know the phrase written by AI is popular these days, but it does sound like that because the dialogue in here is like extremely direct on the nose. Like they're telling you something, but you already know it. But they're telling you it again, even though they told you it in the last line. And the dialogue is just so obvious of what they're telling you. It's kind of the problems with Madam Web, but worse. Because the dialogue is just way on the nose, way in there at you. And the dialogue's terrible. It also leads me into the comedy for this movie. The comedy is dreadful. Dreadful. No. The comedy sucks. Absolutely sucks. The only time you can enjoy the comedy is for making fun of the comedy, because the comedy is terrible. Awful jokes, like dad jokes, but like not funny, and like subtract all the energy out of it, and like blend it up with sand. And then what comes out is nothing but sand and dirt. That's what the comedy is. Now, as we all tell from the trailer, the animation is not the best. Like, fake, cheap animation. And it just doesn't really feel right. Especially with the Doom Syndicate. Some of the characters just don't work necessarily in this style of animation. Some shows that I do like that kind of has this style of animation, kind of like the sheep feel, but there wasn't really an original installment of it that the animation looked better, and the characters really match that animation style, so there's not really much to be mad about there, but this animation doesn't match the characters. We had a previous installment before with better animation, so it's kind of hard to compare to something else when this animation looks terrible. And like I said in the like section, I do feel like the story on paper could work if they executed it better. But, like I said, if they executed it better, they didn't execute it well. Just the way everything played out, the way just all the bad dialogue, all the bad everything about this movie combined it with everything. It just made for a planned story that didn't work laughable of how bad it was 
and did not work whatsoever. And this movie feels like a direct DVD sequel. Like those direct DVD sequels that we used to get from Disney back in early 2000s, late 1990s. Those direct DVD sequels, that's what this movie feels like. They're back, but instead of direct to streaming sequel. That's what this movie feels like. It just feels like a cheap sequel just to make an extra quick few bucks. Even though I don't feel like they're really making any money from streaming. But that's what this movie feels like. Just a cheap, direct to streaming or digital kind of movie. If you do choose to watch this movie, it is boring. It's 90 minutes. Boring. It is boring. There's just bad. It's a bad movie, so it makes it extremely boring and just really does not work at anything. And it's just an extremely bad movie. But what I can say though is that the pacing can work. Like I said, it's boring, so it kind of extends itself, but it doesn't feel like 90 minutes. It feels more like two hours, but for me saying it's boring like that, I guess that's kind of a compliment that it's not doesn't feel like four hours, but the pacing doesn't really work for a 90 minute movie. There are so many more bad things with this movie, but this video is long enough, so I'm not going to list them all, but all in all, if you cannot tell, I do not recommend Megamind vs. The Doom Syndicate, and out of 10, I will give it a 2 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching, and if this video interests you, maybe my review for Megamind Rules will interest you. Once that review is up, subscribe because my future videos, I'm planning on reviewing Kung Fu Panda 4, do a ranking of all those movies, and I will do a ranking of all 46 animated DreamWorks movies that were released in theaters. So, stay tuned, and thank you guys for watching.